and you're back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope 2022 is gonna be a good one for all of us. Of course, like last year, we didn't know what to expect, right? But here we are. Yeah, I just decided to make a quick and fun video, something a little different since it's the new year. I'm going to just kind of reflect on kind of like a blast from the past of, I guess, some items that I have from my past. And I got this idea from my good friend, Mona. Hi, Mona, Miss Mona Jones. Hey, girl. Uh, she did a clip and I thought it was very interesting to watch like, you know, her go through some of her stuff from high school, college, and just random knickknacks and whatnot. So I told her that I'm gonna make a video and she said it'll make her year. So I'm a little bit challenged by that. So I'm hoping that it turns out well. Mona, this video is for you. Let's get started. So growing up, I was always into doing videos or pictures of my cousins, my sister, you know, and whatnot. I've always enjoyed photography and one thing that leads into photography is of course the glamour and I've always been into hair and makeup. Um, yeah, my mom bought it in confusion. I don't know, she knew it wasn't for me, but yeah, this iron has been through so much, sis. I think I got this in 1999 and yeah, it's kind of wobbly, but um, you can tell that it's been through so much. We had some good times. Guys, I have this binder that my mom kept of each of us. Well, I have my binder. I don't know why my binder says Jack when it's supposed to say Crispin. But yeah, um, oh my god, don't I look cute? And then we have all of these certificates. Yeah, I'm so smart. I have a lot of perfect attendance awards. Back in 1989, I was student of the week. Can you guys spot me? But yeah, these are just like old certificates my mom kept from first grade to like high school. Oh my gosh, my mom was so pissed because in one of my attendants, I didn't have paper and I wanted to write a note to her. Never mind the grades, but look at my absences, sis. Can you see that? Eventually, I got promoted to fifth grade. I still have my camera. This is a 35 millimeter. Unfortunately, it does not work anymore. I don't know why. Back then with the 35 millimeter cameras, you only had either 12, 24, or 36 chances. 36 nice shots to develop and, you know, call your own. Who can forget negatives? Sis, we still have all our negatives. But you can see the images. That's my cousin Dow. Hi, Dolly. Um, I labeled them by studio. Uh, so photo lab negatives because I have so much pictures from them. My Dale Benson photos with my family. This is my Dale Benson family photo that we took in um, 1997. I have glamour photos. That's the one I was saying when I do people's hair and makeup. Outdoor photography, graduation. Um, yeah, a bunch of other negatives. And I found my cell phone from 2006. Singular, sis. Yeah, um, this was one of my favorite phones. I got it when I moved to Virginia. Um, I remember a year later, my cousin surprised me by buying me a Blackberry and I surprised her even more by going back to this baby. This was one of my favorite phones of all time, honestly. I had so much good memories with this phone. No comment on why. The battery looks like it kind of like exploded or something. Look, it can't even clip anymore. I don't know what happened. It's a little bit more bulky. Blast from the past, this cell phone gave me so much good memories. Something else that we still have that we don't have any access to are floppy disks. Don't you guys remember? I know you guys remember having floppy disks. And these were the best. Remember how digital camera came out? They kind of started up with floppy disk, or at least from what I remember, and that's how I started uh, into advanced photography. If you guys know where I could get a converter, let me know. And whatever, this one was from my high school junior year of prom, prom 1999. We have a now and then a memorabilia book about like the world war and a bunch of people. I don't really know. This was my dad's. First annual Saipan Fishing Derby, May 25th, 26, 1985. And I was three and that's my dad. Hi, Cody. Tell me what's your favorite DVD between the three. 
I'm going to take you back to the year 2000 again. This is my high school yearbook. I found it and yeah, it's been a while. That's me right there. Please don't cream me. I'm gonna leave that away. No. Which do you think made me lost weight the most? Target training or hip hop abs? So back then, Beatroot used to be swimsuit edition. This is my cousin Tori. Hi, Tori. Tori was the second edition. That's when they did the swimsuit of oh, year 2008. Hey, sis. Look at her. Hey, beautiful. And I'm just gonna throw it in there. I was on the cover of Island Locator with my good friend and family, Devana. Hi, sis. Love and miss you. So something that I'm gonna share with you guys is my journal, Mr. Wilkins class. So Mr. Wilkins would always ask us like a question, like this question from August 25th, 1998. What is something you would like to do to improve in your life? And I wrote, for me, I would like to finish high school, then go to college, that didn't work out. Aiming on my master's degree, that didn't work out either. Then I would like to become a photographer. I still pretend I'm a photographer via Facebook. I would like to get married and have kids. That was a lie. Maybe get married and I did get married to a woman once upon a time. But I can't have kids because sis, I've been trying. Seven days. What? I miss doing that. Don't you guys miss doing that? Do you remember when Microsoft Word came out? and you had a color printer at home. Sis, I used to do this all the time. So I know you guys remember these things. They were so funny. I've always thought that if I decked out my binder that I could be a little bit more studious. Something I found during my high school time, which I ended, I don't know why I kept, was student pass from classes. If you guys need this back, let me know. It's been 21 years, but you know, I still have some. I have a couple of postcards from back in the day. One is from Iraq. This is from Georgia. Hey sis, thank you. And then I have one from Janae. Both sides of the family, Guerrero and Flores, Las Vegas, sis. I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you. I went through the box of greeting cards and I found these two. These are two of my favorite cards. This one is from Vina Duenas. Thanks sis. Vina gave me a card for coordinating a photo shoot between her and, her, and my cousin Georgia, uh, BFFs. Uh, thank you, sis, for the card. I still have it as of 1999. And the second card is dear to my heart. It says, congratulations, high school graduate. Um, it's from my mom. And there, my mom uses the same kind of inky pen. And so, yeah, she wrote from the family, mom, dad, Marina, Kindle, Ray, Kai, Renesha, and Kristen. And the most important thing about this card is it was very meaningful for me because she gave it to me with a $100 bill. Rude. So yeah, speaking of Hopwood, which was at the time the only middle school or junior high that we had, you know, on Saipan, I have my shirt, sis. It's not black anymore. It's kind of like a grayish fake because, you know, we had a bad, we had bad water services back in the day. It's supposed to say Fearless Hilitai, but um, it was printed elsewhere and we got the shirt so late and it came with a J. So Fearless Hilitaj. So back in sophomore year, we... We opted for polo shirts, I don't know why. I had the word florist there just to represent my mom because if you guys know, I, I am a junior, so my name is my dad's name. Class of 2000, The Untouchables. And another shirt that I found is also dear to my heart, our Team Bondic shirts. Shout out to all my families. And I know everybody's into Netflix and Hulu, but I'm still old school, sis. We still have some of our VHS. And yes, I do have a VHS and a DVD player. Thank you. And just to make sure you guys don't think I'm lying, here's my DVD and VHS player. Back then, we used to use Snowpack or Whiteout to like label our stuff. I, I just kept these two. They're so funny because um, of course, this was 1996, Miss Universe. I recorded it and, and I used up my mom's recording. My mom used to record a lot of soap opera. S.O. Soap Opera. This was her VHS and you could tell because she actually left tape. Did you know that if you if you broke the square stuff, you were not able to record, but if you just tape it up, you're fine. And I did get in trouble because this was my mom's video and I recorded Miss USA 2010 on it. Another clip that my mom also kept, of course, was from my 
junior high or middle school graduation. I was front page sis and I wasn't even valedictorian. Hey! I also have one of my older model remotes. I don't know why I kept it, but it was one of my last box TVs and I thought it'd be cool to save it. And to spice things up, I still have my universal remote. Hi Nina, thank you for the remote. We're still using it. So back in 99, I did a photo contest and I got third place for the best people shot for the Flame Tree photo contest. Thanks, MBA. I'm actually not showing you the lunch kit. This is actually my mom's box. I wanted to show you her cassette tapes. She has a lot, but these are like one of her, these are some of her favorites. So I have them all in a safe spot. She's so extra. She would always make recordings and she'll always have her signature like sis. We could easily mock your signature. Of course, if you like photography, you love pictures. I have a lot of albums. These are like three inch binders. I think I have like three or four that are filled with pictures. But yeah, these are just like photo albums that I would collect. And sometimes I would put pictures like on my binder. And yeah, it was really cool to collect pictures and have a lot of memories. So that is all I have for today. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this type of video. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to try to do something different since it's 2022, so. Sorry, the chickens. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. I hope you stay safe. Please practice your three W's and of course, live life to its fullest. 2022 is here and let's make it the best. Make it one for the books, right? And um, yeah. Till my next video, take care, be safe. Hugwai zaho.